Hello, hello, good evening, good evening, and welcome. Welcome to the April 16th Learning Live. We are going to be pressing our hearts out tonight. We'll just give it a minute or two for folks to join in. I'm going to see if I, no, you know, I better not move my camera because, you know, that's when, that's when tricky things happen. Uh, as we're getting warmed up here, as we're getting set up, maybe uh, just draw, jot in the comments um, if you have tried uh, better pressing in general. Do you have a better press machine? Is this something that you are excited to learn more about? Uh, welcome tonight. This, that is what we are going to be talking about tonight is uh, better press, the, bre the better press letter press system. And uh, we have done some introductory videos in the past. I will still go over a little tiny bit of the basics as I jump in. Uh, but really, we're going to be talking about the next iteration of better press plates from Spellbinders. And that is the what they call the registration uh, system. And that is that allows you to use multiple plates to do different colors and create different layers. We'll start out with something a little bit uh, more straightforward, and then we will move into something maybe a little bit more complex. Not the moped, that little Vespa is super cute, but it is, um, that was die cut, not pressed. It's the balloons uh, that were pressed. And so we will uh, dig into that as well as we go along. Uh, this. We have a washer from Calgary and they are having a snowstorm. A snowstorm in Calgary. I'm very sorry. Hopefully, hopefully it'll clear up for the weekend. Are you going to see our friends at uh, the Great Canadian Carnival uh, in Calgary this weekend? That is uh, your version of Scrap Fest, which we just had this past weekend. Uh, if you are new to us, if you are just tuning in, this is Sherry from the Paper Crafters Workshop over on the computer keyboard is mr matt peanut uh, the peanut gallery heckler and you know uh, recently he's been you know a little bit on the the creative director side of things as well so hopefully hopefully we'll just keep things on the straight and narrow tonight and the peanut gallery will stay well behaved. No. no, he's giving me a look. I don't think that's going to happen. Mari is saying that Saskatoon's not very nice either. Uh oh. So. Hello, my friend Mari. We we just got to spend a wonderful weekend with our friend Mari. She flew all the way out to join us at Scrap Fest and taught two amazing classes and hung out with us in our booth and in the Creative Hub. So, a big warm welcome and a warm hello to Mari. Uh, what are the people saying in the comments, Matt? Have people tried the better press before? Um, most people are saying they love their better press. Some Excellent. are saying they want to learn more about better press. Okay. So one or two have said that they don't have one yet, so they're looking, I guess, are looking forward to it. Okay. A well, maybe we will uh, enable a few more people tonight. Uh, so, again, Sherry and Matt from the Paper Crafters Workshop. You can find all our goodies uh, on the papercraftersworkshop.ca. You are either watching us here on Facebook or here on YouTube. We do also have a very active Instagram page, so go and check us out. Um, all right, so I'm going to clear my desk. Some of the things I'm going to be playing with, as I said, was the balloon registration set. Isn't that the cutest? Um, we're going to play with this celebrate set and, uh, we're also going to talk a little bit about this little set here. So this is an exclusive, uh, sentiment press set that myself and Brenda from Samplicity and Liette from Glitter and Ink, along with our friends out in Alberta, um, Julia from paper, the paper and ink boutique and Ivy and Corey Lynn from Scrap Addicts. We all collaborated to have this uh, put together exclusively for our five stores. Uh, if you are local to us, we still have them for sale. And so we'll talk about a little bit about that as we go along. But if you are out in Alberta and you are going to Carnival, make sure you hit up uh, Paper and Ink Boutique and Scrap Addicts uh, to get your exclusive set as well. All right, I'm going to dig out. So first thing I have over to the side here, which I will bring out as we need it, 
and that's my beautiful platinum six um you wouldn't know it's platinum because it's bronze color this is one of the older ones but it is my workhorse die cutting machine and of course it works exceptionally well with the better press system i've got my whole system here in a totally tiffany bag this is the 12 by 12 uh storage system i've kind of done hybrid I've taken the two drawer storage system and the four drawer storage system and kind of smushed them together. So the long drawer from the two drawer holds my better press pieces. And I'll talk about that in a second. My, uh, my smaller drawers hold my ink and I've already pulled out my paper, but that's typically where my paper lives and my cleaning cloth which is a little bit worse for wear right now. Uh, but I use this system for um, storing all my better press stuff. For those of you who do not know what a better press is, I need to dig it out first. Let me dig it out of my little bin here. Inks are flying. Uh, this is a Teresa bag that holds my reinkers, and I just like to keep everything together. Uh, so your better press system is made up of I guess four main components and we're going to bring that out there so the main main part and please forgive me because i will get um all the names wrong i should have looked them up ahead of time but i will get the names wrong this is your base i believe it's called the chase and it has it is it's just a little it's well, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, just a little bit bigger than six inches wide. And it is that 12 inches in length. And this is your main mechanism that goes through your machine and does all the magic. There are four of these little spring loaded plungers, one on each corner. And when we put all the pieces together and it goes through the die cutting machine, Camera, just, camera, camera was was just it like that. okay um when it goes through the machine the pressure squishes it down so it squishes the plate which has been inked up into the paper to create that uh, highly dimensional hold on My apologies, ladies and gents. I clearly was talking way too much this weekend. And that little suck of air just uh, dried me right out. Anyways, the whole idea is to, to create a really tactile, debossed uh, impression into your paper with ink. You could do it without ink if you so desired. Um, but that is really what the Better Press system is all about. Oh, my goodness. Um, inside this little area here, you can put up to three ships. We're going to start with all three in here. And most of the time, that is what I use. And then there is this magnetic uh, platform that also goes in here. And that is what holds your plate in place. And then you're, there is your platen, which is this clear plastic piece on the top. It's got little magnets to connect with those magnets on the bottom and this is what holds your paper to press into the system your whole system looks very well loved my system does look very well loved i've been making lots of samples playing with it lots uh, we did also use mine and carol's and darlene's at our make and takes this weekend and that's okay it is okay for this to be well loved instead of being nice and clean like this one um it means you're using it which is always a good thing and it's not going to affect the performance of the machine at all all right so we're going to start off with the celebrate plate and in with your typical plates well, i've just got them in tab dividers here if you were not doing the whole registration system if you were just doing regular pressing 
you would simply take your plate, you would center it here on your magnetic piece. And again, does not fall out. You would attach your paper and you would press it through. So you would get something uh, like this one where you've just got the word pressed onto here. I just stenciled onto the back. Uh, once that pressing was done, here is another, another version of that. So I'm just using the one layer and that's all you need to do. You ink it up, you press and away you go. But the key to this registration system is that there is an acetate. Let me put it here on the magnet just so we can see it. There is an acetate overlay that comes with the plate and this helps you get everything lined up from your first layer right through to your fourth or fifth layer, depending on what kind of plate you are using. Now don't fret. If you happen to lose these uh, this acetate piece, you can go to the Spellbinders page and pr print out, download and print out a paper version of your template. And I'm going to show you that with the balloons. I actually got the balloons as part of a trade show and they did not have the acetate pieces available yet. So we just have that paper version and I'll show you how to use that as well. It works very, very much the same way and I'll also share some tips and tricks. So in order to do uh, this kind of look where we are going to press the celebrate and then press the flowers uh, second, we need to lift this up and it is a strong magnet. So sometimes you have to slide it to the side. Um, I sometimes will use my hot foil thing, but the magnet sometimes is just too strong. But if you just slide it off to the side or the other thing I do is I will just lift the magnet, give it a little bit of a bend, then you can get your fingers underneath it. And yes, you can see my plates are very well loved as well. Uh, very much like stamps in that, um, Depending on the inks, you could get some staining on your plate. Again, not at all going to affect the functionality of these plates. But what I'm gonna do is I am first going to put my template into place. And there is a green frame around the outside that is going to match your A2 size on your magnetic plate. And then I like to take just a little bit of my yellow tape, my best ever craft tape, just to hold it in place. Cause if it slides, then it's gonna be out of alignment. And that's the whole point of this piece. So we're gonna get that into place. Then we are gonna put our plate on top. And really it is just like a puzzle. You're gonna match it up. And again, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see, there we go. So right right here there's a great big curve that is the curve for the c and celebrate so i know with this piece i am lining up the black outline so that it's ready to go and that way it's going to keep it all straight and even and then when we go to put the second layer on it will all make sense all right i'm going to come over here and this time i'm going to start with um i don't have a lot of the porcelain uh, paper cut and I want to save that for the balloon. So I'm going to use the pebble, which actually gives a really, really classy kind of look. And so here on my platen, once again, I'm just going to line up my corners. And this one we're going to press in the middle so I can tape it on the corners. If you are doing an all over cover plate like this one, you're going to want to tape little loops from behind. That way you don't have to worry about it masking off areas that you still want inked. All right, so we're going to get this lined up and you don't need to do much. I'm going to do two little pieces opposite each other. And if you see, I'm really just catching the corners. You don't need a ton of tape as long as you've got it because it's going to go like this. So if it's not taped, it would just go plop right onto your inked piece and it won't do you any good, but you don't need a ton. So that way you don't have to fight with it for an hour to get it off once you've got it inked. All right, so what color should I do? I think, I'm, you know what? It's funny that Matt says purple because there actually isn't a purple ink yet. 
in all of the many colors of Don't the better Darlene. press. No, Darlene already knows. We've already had already had, had this discussion. Um, the one color I really like, do, 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 if I can find it on the gray, is the mulberry. So if you want sort of purple, this is more of a deep burgundy. So now I'm going to use that one. You think you would have prepared this part ahead of time. <laughs> so I'm just going to take my little better press ink here and I'm going to open it up and I'm just going to use a twisting motion and I'm going to start right at the top and apply the ink directly to the plate. You don't need to press hard, but you do want to make sure you get good coverage. Now, I don't know if you're noticing, but as I do this little twisty motion, the plate is sliding a little bit. And that is one of the downsides of the acetate is there is still a slip factor. But I can just nudge that back into place. So there we go. We've got the Celebrate all inked up. And I'm just going to grab my tweezers and just gently nudge it back into place. There we go. Now, you can also look at your acetate. If you do have any ink on the acetate, try to get it up. It's not as big a deal on this one, but when we get to the balloons, I did find I was making lots of oopses because the ink, the ink was getting where I didn't want it to go. And when you're pressing like your fourth, your fourth layer down, you don't want to, you don't want to have to redo it all. So now I'm going to get out my die cutting machine. <clears throat> I'm going to take my platen, turn it face down. So it's all together here. And then I'm just going to crank. Now you want to go slow. Don't, there's not going to be a ton of resistance. You're just going to go nice and slow. Do not go back and forth. You only want to go in one direction. We'll pull this off. We'll move this out. And voila. That looks beautiful. So that's one layer that is done and as i showed you on some of those these samples here you could just leave it with one layer and not even worry about the flowers but you came here tonight to learn about registration so of course of course we're going to do the second layer um the girls on the weekend were teasing me that i do clean my plates uh, if you're going to be doing a bunch or if you're going to be changing colors, then yes, you definitely want to be uh, cleaning your plates. Um, sometimes I'm lazy and I'll put them off to the side and clean them all at the end. But in order to clean, uh, you want your archival ink cleaner from Ranger. The ink that we were using, the Better Press ink, is a um, special formulation that Spellbinders collaborated with uh ranger to create but the archival cleaner will work really well to clean it and don't rub you're just gonna pat and not because it's gonna do any damage to your plate but what i'm finding is the little sponge piece here in the cleaner if you do too much rubbing it lifts up and makes it hard to get the cleaner out so just a little bit of cleaner all over it i'm gonna get out my cleaning cloth and then I'm just going to rub and that's going to get the ink off and again like I said there is going to be some staining especially with red inks and with black inks but as long as you're diligent about keeping your plates clean um you should be okay and like I said the girls teased me on the weekend Brenda and Liette teased me because they don't clean they just go on to the next color. They give it a wipe and they move on. So do what makes you feel comfortable to make sure that you keep good care of your plates. All right. So next up, 
actually let me just make sure there's no extra cleaner here on my acetate you guys know me i'm not messy not i do not like mess so i am cleaning up as i go along but now that acetate is all clear and it's ready for layer number two so this is where i'm going to take my flowers if you can see it's got the little flowers there it's got these little connector pieces and once again you kind of have to look at your shapes and we are matching up with a green outline this time. And I, when I look at my template, I can see that there's kind of a three-sided shape up here and a diagonal shape here. So I know from practice that this is gonna go like this. And again, when you hold it up close, again, probably not gonna show up very well because it's clear acetate. Um, I know that it's in line. Uh, what should we do for our second color? What's going to go with that mulberry color? Green. Let's do, what's that? A, you have a bright green. A bright green. Yeah, we can do that. See, Matt's playing creative director again. Um, yeah, okay. So this is, this is leaf. That was mulberry and leaf. And once again, uh, as I do that twisting motion, I may inadvertently move this out of the way you can hold that area that's not getting inked but i find i'm just trying to be careful yeah and this one because it's quite a bit lighter and quite a bit thinner it's gonna move but that's okay as long as you make sure it's back into place before you press and you could even and i do sometimes do this move it out of the way so that you can wipe that acetate. Oh my goodness gracious, you're gonna get a fussy. And then I'm gonna move it back. How long do you have before the ink dries? How long do I have before the ink dries? Um, you've got a little bit of play time. It's not, like I wouldn't do a whole, I wouldn't do this and then, you know, go get a cup of tea or that kind of thing. But you know, you saw that I was able to ink that up and then get my die cutting machine out and get it all ready to go. So you do have a little bit of play time. All right, so that's all lined up. Put my platen on top. Let's slide it over. Bring back the machine. And here we go again. So the paper hasn't moved. The paper is exactly where I had it the first time. And once again, I'm just going to slowly, one, two, three, nice and slow. And you'll feel it where it's got those areas and it's resisting. But you should not need to put any elbow grease into it. It's going to, it's going to go through very, very easily. If you find you are getting resistance, remember those three shims, take one out see if it gets any better if you're still getting resistance take the other one out um you sh really should not have to put a whole lot of work into that and there you go so there is our celebrate already pressed in the two different colors and does it not look so pretty now what you can do is you can now die cut it or you could just put this panel on a card as it is um, I've got some, some black paper here that I can just cut it down as a card base. There we go. So what I can do is I can put this off to the side. I'll come back and clean it in a second. I'm going to trim. Yep, that's only one piece. Let's do, let's do a full on black black card base scoreboard score this at the four and a quarter mark there we go leave that out because I may need it again later and this is where you're just going to gently lift up your tape. And I actually tend to leave it on my platen because I know I'm going to stick another piece under there. And this way I'm 
less likely to lose it. And I'm just going to trim an eighth of an inch off all four sides. So that I've got that little bit of a border. That should be five and a quarter. Get rid of those. Put that away. Please let me have a full tape runner. There we go. And just a little bit of tape runner. And there you have it. So fast and easy. That was a really simple, really pretty um, card. And I could take, so I've, I've already pressed ahead um, some of those sentiments from our exclusive set. So what if we did celebrate? You are awesome. I'm just going to tuck that in there with a little bit of foam. Do, 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 do. Oh, don't you have small squares? Well, I need some strips, but I, I keep using up my strips. My strips are probably my favorite. And I think they're still in my scrap vest bag, which I have not unpacked yet. So. And you can add gems to this. I was going to say, I know a place you can get some strips. Yes, I know. I definitely know there's a place that I can get strips. So I'm going to just tuck that in here. I, I know a guy too. And there you go. So celebrate your awesome. Really, really pretty. And the nice thing about the um, the better press is that you, you know, once you've got it figured out, it's very, very easy to um, mass produce them and just get a whole bunch of them cranked out. You could also go in with a little bit of watercolor to color up those flowers if you wished. But that is the basics of a registration plate. And that is so, you know, this one is that two plate two plate registration pair it can get a little bit more fun and that's what we're going to do next is we're going to do those balloons just like this guy here i do also have i'm pretty sure did i pull it out already oh here it is so here i've got a pink pink one and a blue one let me just clean off the plates here Do, 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 do. And this one, because there's so little ink, I didn't even put cleaner on it. I also know I've got a fair amount of ink cleaner on my cloth. And there we go. Any questions so far, Matt? No. Everybody's quiet. Oh, they're saying that they like they, it's nice, it's lovely. It's, they like okay. That's good. I'm glad they're enjoying it. Mari seems to think that better pressing is very satisfying it is it is very satisfying definitely has that tactile element to it and maybe one thing i forgot to mention uh as i was going through all the bits is that we are using a specialty cotton paper in order to uh press these images and that gives you your deep impression it's a softer paper it uh it takes the ink beautifully but you do not need to use cotton paper to do better pressing. You could use Nina. You could use regular cardstock. Um, I actually did a layout on the weekend where I've pressed it onto a 49 and market pattern paper. So here I've got the balloons um, pressed on that pattern paper as well. So you don't need to do the cotton paper. You will just get your best results if you use that cotton paper. Uh, when Paula was here uh, last summer, Paula is um, our rep at Spellbinders. Uh, she's been in the in the industry in Canada for, for quite some time. The way she described it to people is, do your practice ones on, some, on Nina or thinner paper, save your cotton paper for say your 15 or 20 favorite people, especially if you're doing Christmas cards, save the good paper for your favorite people <coughs> excuse me use the the uh less expensive paper on maybe you're not so favorite people um nobody's gonna know nobody knows what the other person gets the people who won't appreciate it as much that's right so 
before you go too much further, I was okay. Thinking, this is a question for I'm, I'm speaking for the audience, even though they're not asking. All right, so Matt's asking a question. Um, you use the Platinum Six. Yes. Is it compatible? Is the better press compatible with any other die cutting machines? Excellent question. Excellent question. So Matt's asking, um, if you don't have the Platinum Six, what else can you use? Well, the better press very specifically is compatible for obvious reasons with the Spellbinders Platinum and the Platinum Six. So either their big one or the Platinum Six, which is the more standard one. Um, but they have also recognized that the, the Big Shot is a uh, very popular die cutting machine out there. So it absolutely can work. And I have used it using my Big Shot. Um, it is also my understanding that it is compatible with the Big Shot switch, which is the motorized machine. However, my two cents, my personal opinion is that um, I prefer and I feel safer with a manual machine because it allows me to control the speed with which the, the better press machine goes through. With a motorized one, you kind of put it in and away it goes. And I've had, I've seen and heard of people who have had exceptional, um, excellent results doing that. It's just my personal opinion that a manual machine will give you just that little bit more control. But I am also known to be a bit of a control freak and uh, have my way of doing things. So take that for what it's worth. There you go. Um, the other thing I will tell you, if you did not already know this, is that better press plates can be used in your Glimmer hot foil system. So here we pressed the Celebrate with black ink, and then we, um, we did the flowers in gold on our hot foil plate. So you can use better press plates in the Glimmer, but you cannot use glimmer plates in the better press glimmer plates are thicker and more rigid and if you use your better your glimmer plates in your better press you run the risk of cracking and and damaging your platen as well as voiding the warranty on your machine so just be careful of that and so and so you'll see that i've got i've got sentiments in here as well that i have that I have glimmered as well as ones that I have pressed and they just glimmer absolutely beautifully. So you may actually see some companies like Pink Fresh, like Hero Arts that are now coming out with plates that they describe as letter press and foil. That means you can do both letter press and foil. Um, you, it is very likely that standalone hot foil plates are gonna be fewer and further between. Now, Spellbinders is still dedicated to the Glimmer, still dedicated to coming out with Glimmer plates, but they will be in cases where you want something chunkier or an overall background. Um, there will be specific purposes for Glimmer only versus Better Press. So that, uh, that covers all of that. All right, let's move on and do some balloons. We need three different colors for the balloons. So while I get the, the, the template set up and the paper set up and everything else, maybe you guys can put three colors in the comments and that'll help me decide what colors I'm gonna do my balloons. All right, where's my little balloon envelope? We need that theme song that we're not allowed to say or, or hum. No, we don't wanna break any copyright. Um. Yeah, here it is. All right, so with my balloons, and my balloons keep falling off their magnet, but there is a whole series. So let's get these plunked out here. There are also letters that go on the balloons. So I've got one set of balloons here. I've got another set of balloons here and I have a third set of balloons here. So all, 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 there's nine balloons in total. And then there is the balloon spring, uh, strings. And I'm going to show you about that, uh, the shims again, because I, I have trouble with my strings that they keep cutting through my paper. And I'll show you how we can fix that. The letters spell out either happy or hooray depending on which letters you use. Sorry, is that all letterpress? 
This is all letterpress. That looks complicated. It is not at all complicated. You just have to be patient. You have to take it step by step. There is also two sentiments. So birthday and congratulations and two dies that will cut out your words. All right, so now that I'm organized, I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna put my template down and this is my paper one. And I'm gonna show you my trick because the nice thing about the acetate is that you can get ink, you can get ink on your template and be able to wipe it off. However, if it's paper, that's not gonna work as well. So what I do is I just take a piece of plain acetate and this is a piece that I've now just kept in with this plate set so that I can use it over and over again. And I put the acetate on top and that way I can place my, my plates where I need to place them, clean them off and not ruin that template that I've got. So again, I'm gonna come over here and over here. All right, do we have any colors, Matt? Uh, we only have one person voting, and that was for you. That's Wendy. She picked yellow, pink, and blue. Yellow, pink, and blue. Okay, we can do that. Now, like I said, there are three sets of three balloons. It really does not matter what order you do them in. Uh, you just want to follow the outline. So there's a red outline, there is a purple outline, and there is a green outline. So I'm going to start with the red outline, like so. And so those balloons go there, and this one goes here. Uh, sorry, Matt, you said yellow, pink, and blue. Pink and blue. And you were almost at 40 minutes. All right. So let me get it. Actually, this time I'm going to use Concord and Nice ink because um, while you while the Better Press ink is going to give you great results. Sorry about that. Um, you can use other inks as well. And I do like uh, the Concord because they're very squishy and they can, uh, they cover the plates really nicely. So there's yellow. Let's do dragon fruit. That's the pink. That's the pink. And blueberry. That looks very cheerful. All right. So only because it looks like I've already, oh, I've got to put my paper in place. Let me put my paper in place. One piece here. Like I said, I've already got the tape on here. I just need to line it up. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just, I'm going to move my die cutting machine. You guys will not be able to see it while I'm on camera, but then this way I don't have to be moving things back and forth. All right. So here, here's the pink. Now, I did put it in place. I'm going to actually move it down here. That way, if I do get ink where I don't want it, I can clean it up. Like you did? Like I just did. Because they are thin. So it doesn't matter how careful you are. Or things like that happen. <laughs> Could you not ink it off the tool and then put it on i guess how would you uh you know? get fingerprints i think if you were to try to move things around too too much but then i can wipe above and then just slide and up there slide this one into place So there's our pink. And here I go off camera, just doing a gentle, not super speedy. And voila, look at those beautiful pink balloons. Now this is where this can really come into play. I will clean these all later. And because these are the water-based ink as opposed to the, our, the uh, better press ink, I can just clean them with a baby wipe. Also make sure you clean off your magnet 
because you could get ink on it. And next for my next set of balloons. All right, this one here is going to fit on that purple outline, but I'm going to come down here. Let's do this one in yellow. And again, feel free to use tools to hold things into place. Oops. Those, those ink pads are really juicy. They are very juicy, which actually I find makes them very easy to work with. All right. How are you going to move that without smearing that ink? Slide it up. Oh, I did go right through it, but that's okay. This is lining up with the purple. Do, 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 do. Now I can wipe the rest. Again, just nudge it, make sure it's lined up where it's supposed to go. All right, and then this goes back on top. Slow, slow, slow. Once you feel it go through, then you can go fast and kind of crank it the rest of the way through. But there's our yellow. And our last two, our last three. Let's give it. Good wipe. All right, so these ones are going to go on the green outline. This is our blue ink. By doing it out at the perimeter, if we get ink as I am here. My goodness. But that's okay. Don't you fret. Go up here on that green balloon. Go over here on the green balloon outline. And then wipe it away. All right. Slowly. And here we go. So there's all three colors and there is a slight indentation where the balloons are living. And look how beautiful that is looking. Now, if you then wanted to do the letters, which we won't do tonight because they are quite finicky. But here on the template, we have our H-A-P-P-Y. You would just do the same thing. I usually line them up down here, ink them up, and then nudge them into place. And that way you just press it one more time. When you are choosing your colors, if you are using the letters, you do want to use lighter colors so that they show up um, a little bit better. Um, I, I, I would think that some of these, they may not show up because they are quite dark. So that's why we're going to skip this step for tonight. But again, everything is laid out on the template and ready to go. Now, the last thing that we need to do is. Before you go too far with the. Yep. Away from the alignment. There's a question from Jen. Okay. Um, she wants to know, how would you line up the plate? If you were, how would you line up the second plate or I guess the second or third plates? If you were using it on the glimmer, wouldn't the acetate burn? Yes. So that is definitely where you'd want to use your paper, um, your paper template and not your acetate template. Um, and in that case, because you're glimmering versus inking, you don't need the acetate piece to go over top. Um, 
I'll see if I can find some instruction for you. I know we did it in that one class. I will say full transparency, it's fiddly. It is really fiddly to do the two uh, layers. So you want to at least start with something that's a little bit simpler. Like um, I know Brenda and Liette have been foiling the balloons. They have more patience than I do, um, but it absolutely can be done. It, it, you, that's where you would use your paper uh, template instead of your acetate one. All right, so we're not actually getting away from the template just yet. We do have one more layer and that is the strings. Now, like I said, I have learned that my strings are for whatever reason, a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna actually just take out one shim and now I'm going to lay my strings into place. Now, I think that my strings are a little bit big for the template. So sometimes you have to just fudge it a little bit. And this is where knowing your stuff, knowing your machines and your tools will work to your advantage. But here I've got those all laid out. I've just got a black ink. And the strings actually don't need a whole lot of ink because they're so thin. Oh, this is it. This is my pink ink. This is not my black ink. So now, you know what? We're just, no, I'm going to go over it. I'm going to, where is my black ink? There's black ink. So let's start over. Let's clean the pink ink off of here. It's wondering why I wasn't seeing anything. All right. Get that lined up again. Here's my black this time. Black. That's better. That looks more black to me. Get that little bow. Oops. And look. You know what? We're just rolling with it. We are rolling. I think we need a nap. All right, so let's just. Clean up some of those little smudges. Slide it back in. It's too low. I'm just going to get this. Uh, now I'm making more of a mess again. Anyways, close your eyes and hope for the best. All right. So I can tell already did not cut through my paper, which makes me very happy. And... Look at that. The strings are all lined up and you can either just use it as a card like this or another thing you do is you could fussy cut around it, just that loose shape and use it to attach to your Vespa or something like that. Now what I did, because I was struggling having that um, those strings cut through, I actually drew in my lines with a journaling pen on that one instead of using uh, using the plate for it. But uh, there you go. Easy peasy. It looks like it's hard. It looks like you spent hours placing all of that ink. And in reality, you know, we were able to go through it really, really smoothly. And then you take one of these these fabulous sentiments from our exclusive set. And you can just, today is the day. And that can go on your card. Like so. So that is the ins and outs of registration plates. Uh, I encourage you to pick one and start with that. Kind of practice with it. Try different color combinations, different things. And then build your collection from there. 
And if you want to get one of these great exclusive press plates, let me go through through the different sentiments so you can see what's on there. These were designed to go with the originally to go with the balloon set, which has the words happy and hooray. So we've got happy times, our crafty times, hooray for our friendships, friendship, hooray, today is the day, you're awesome, you got this, oh happy day, and you make me, to go with you make me happy. And if you didn't want to use the balloon set, well there you can use alphabet sets to spell out the words. You can... You can use other sets that have the word happy or hooray built into it. Um, or you can just have fun with them. You know, you are awesome. Today is the day. Those are sentiments that you could just use on their own. This, we are extending our Scrap, Flex, Scrap Fest deal. Uh, regular price, I do not remember what it is, but on sale, it's oh, regular price $26.99 on sale for $20, a special Scrap Fest pricing. And uh, I think it's a lot of fun. I think they're really great, empowering sentiments and they go well with any celebration that you might be um, experiencing. So there you have it, folks. That is Better Press, that is registration. If you think of any other questions that uh, come up, whether you are watching again on replay or you're just thinking about it overnight, uh, don't hesitate to let us know. And that's it from me. We will be back here tomorrow for what's new at 7 p.m. If you are a Lawn Fawn fan, you definitely want to be keeping an eye on our social tomorrow and joining us tomorrow night at 7 because we have some news for you. Until then, wishing you all a happy hooray evening. You're all awesome. Have a good night.